Today's very latest news coming to you first from the fabulous Patia Media Group here in Patia. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you. A central criminal court in the capital has sentenced four now ex-policemen to five years in prison after they were found guilty of extorting 27,000 baht from a Taiwanese actress at the start of the year. The court then believed the woman's claims that the errant boys in brown had planted a vaping e-cigarette on her before threatening her with jail, all along with another two who were found not guilty, were fired from the force a month after the occurrence, following an internal police investigation. The new 1441 hotline for the public to report online scams has seen a massive surge after it was launched at the end of last month. The operations centre tells us that upwards of 15,000 calls were received in the first week and that as a result, close to 700 so-called mule accounts have been frozen with banks. Teething problems included speed of response by banks and the centre's ability to deal with demand for service both, we're told, have now been rectified. In the south of Thailand, a jailed local crime boss who escaped from a hospital while being treated was tracked down to a rural area yesterday by police teams who engaged him in gunfire before he again managed to elude them. It seems that he got advance warning of their approach in his secluded hideaway from a dog that was with him. That was enough for him to be firing on the team and fleeing through the jungle. 300 police officers made up the arrest team who were in full force after nabbing a local who had been taking him provisions. It seems the man with a jail term of 20 years for numerous crimes, including attempted murder, is armed with rifles and handguns, along with a stash of munitions. A boiler room operation run by two Taiwanese and two Japanese was raided in Samutsa Kon after an undercover operation revealed that they had hoodwinked the gullible in Japan and had been doing so for two years, reaping close to 10 billion baht in stolen funds. And roadworks in the capital caused a 10-wheel HGV truck carrying soil to fall into a dugout pit after flimsy sheeting was put over it to allow traffic to pass. Obviously not fit for the purpose, the steel and concrete sheets gave way under the truck, which was not overloaded, according to both the driver and authorities. Two motorbike riders were hospitalised as they subsequently drove into the hole. And with traffic backed up for miles, power had to be switched off for much of the area as a major recovery operation went into effect to first remove the load and then the truck itself. Meanwhile at home and in Patia, when a motorbike thief was caught red-handed by police, he began to behave, talk and act as if he were mentally subnormal in the hope that police would take pity on him and forgive him. That didn't work and the 28-year-old was duly arrested. CCTV recordings from a Sirachar petrol station showed the same errant man stealing two and a half thousand baht's worth of fuel and that was linked to him as he used the stolen bike to transport the fuel in plastic containers. Checks confirmed that he has no mental issues but perhaps could become a thespian in the future life. And rumour is that the city is about to make Soibakau into a one-way street. Now, if that goes ahead, the soys from Second Road would also be considered for single-way traffic, in a similar fashion to that of those leading from the beach. Adding extra traffic to Second Road for sure, the proposal is based on the increased daily vehicle count on Bukau, which until a decade ago was a sleepy soy and which can't be widened. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31 degrees, dropping down to 26, we're told to expect a cloudy and humid day with thunderstorms in parts of the area in the afternoon. But the real feel of 36 degrees in the sun, if there is any. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.